Good afternoon. Um, today we're going to take a look at uh, what annotations are inside of Solid. Uh, there's a folder on by default inside of your uh, feature tree called annotations. As you're sketching and applying feature dimensions, these annotations populate into views. Uh, we can add views, we can assign, uh, you know, if you want a specific looking view with specific annotations. Um, what do you use them for? That's completely up to you. I can show you what I use them for. Um, they're kind of a precursor, in my opinion, to drawing. So what do we need to see? Form fit function along the way kind of stuff. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate the front view by just turning it on or double clicking on it. It says display features is currently off. Would you like to turn them on now? Yes. So if I right and I click, I can right click on the top level folder and you'll see what ends up happening is I get display annotations and which uh, annotations am I going to show? Um, <clears throat> I'm having it by default automatically placing everything into annotated views. The only reason is, is you can come back here and uh, put them in any view you want. Now, some of this stuff is just reference for my reference only. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm not getting rid of the dimension. I'm just hiding it. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this one as well. This one I don't really need either. And I don't need this one either. So, and I'm just going to position these. These are just the sketch dimensions. I, I don't really need that. Just kind of like so my customer can take a look and give me the yay or nay on this. Uh, I don't have all the dimensions here, so I'm going to go ahead and actually throw a reference dimension on here. So I'm going to go ahead and go from here. Holding the shift key down, I'm going to grab that radius. So I get the over. And that has the parentheses on by default, but I could do any kind of referencing in here for my customer <clears throat> and then what i do with this is i'll take a quick pdf just so i can save it off send it to the customer and make him make him see it let me let him see it because everybody's got reader so we do a quick f12 and i'm going to save as a pdf inside of here and i'm going to write over overwrite this one and there it is so a quick PDF, I always view it afterwards, make sure it's, it's centered on the, because um, it's just a screenshot, really. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one more time. doesn't take any time to do this. So we'll go PDF. Yes. And there it is. So it looks a little better that time. Now, let's say that I wanted to take this dimension here and assign it to another one, or actually add a new <coughs> view so I can add a, a new view in here so I can insert a new annotation view now we can use any view we want um, <clears throat> annotation viewing direction view orientation or by selection we're gonna do the normal reverse which is what we are now <clears throat> and what it's gonna do is gonna say well, well what do you want to put on there and I'm gonna say well I want to put all of the annotations that are parallel to the viewing which is top down so because this is an anti front is what it really is and then we say okay so now all those annotations that were on the front got moved to the normal reverse and then I'll just grab a couple of these other ones that were kind of hanging out there and I'll move them around to suit my needs so now I got a new view called normal reverse um, again, with the, you know, turn them on, turn them off, we're still in the model mode. We're not doing anything with the uh, sheets and drawings and all that kind of stuff yet. We're just still in the design mode. So a uh, short little video, just kind of wanted to show you what annotations are all about. Um, hope you enjoy it. Maybe it's useful to you. Have a good day. Thank you.